George, obviously it was a huge quarter for you, and I'm sure you would push back against that narrative that this is merely a pandemic-driven success. How do you see demand keeping up post-pandemic? Well, that's right. It, it, it really wasn't just a pandemic uh, success. If you think about security, the bad guys are not going to go away once the pandemic is over. I mean, that's, it's almost silly to think they're going to go away. You just talked about all these hacks that are out there. And what we're seeing is that companies are really driving forward with their digital transformation strategies. And when they transform digitally, they have to transform their security architecture as well. And we think that's a, a long-term sustainable trend that we're going to see into the future. Now, CrowdStrike has been working to help mitigate the impact of this suspected China-based hack on Microsoft Exchange. What have you learned so far? Well, as, as you pointed out, it, it is widespread. I think 250,000 uh, you know, customers were, were impacted, Microsoft customers were impacted. And uh, we're seeing a lot of automated scanning. It's just so easy to find these servers, very easy to exploit. And uh, you know, from a from an e-crime perspective and ransomware, uh, it's it's a massive problem. Obviously, you can take data off the servers, which is bad in, into itself. But if you can get in and encrypt those servers and try to make money and disrupt the business, that can have a massive impact to a lot of companies around the globe and government organizations as well. Are there more um, you know deadly details to unfold from this one? I mean, how much do we still not know? Well, there's always more details. You know, we only know as much as, as we can find out. We never, you know, quite get in the minds of, of who's doing this and what they're doing. And, uh, you know, do you have the complete picture or not? You, you never know. We can only talk about uh, what is available, uh, you know, it, for everyone to see. And that's uh, the number of systems that are infected, how impactful this particular vulnerability was from a Microsoft perspective. And, you know, third, how easy it is to exploit and just the mass scanning that, that's happening. So I think more to unfold. Hopefully uh, these organizations can patch these systems um, so they don't get nailed from these e-crime actors that are looking to make a quick buck off it. And then obviously it does really reinforce, you know, what we do at, at CrowdStrike, endpoint protection, server protection, so that we can identify and prevent these sort of attacks uh, even without the patch. So let's move on then to SolarWinds because CrowdStrike's also been helping there. This a Russia-based hack. I know that uh, details with this have, have also been slowly emerging. Um, you know, what has surprised you um, about this particular hack and both of these then in quick succession? Well, I think when you look at the uh, you know sunburst attack, and that, that's multiple parties involved in that one. Uh, specifically, you mentioned Solar Winds, and we're helping them. Um, it, it really goes to show just how patient these organizations, uh, these nation states, are really in terms of attacking these systems. The amount of care that went into identification of systems they they could uh, you know touch, um, how to place the back door. Um, how to make sure there was persistence in their backdoor code, how to get it distributed, and more importantly, um, how to make sure others uh, weren't able to, to, to see their activity, right? They were very targeted in what they did. It wasn't mass exploitation. It was very targeted in specific organizations they wanted to get into, including covering their infrastructure and make it look like it was coming from the U.S. And, and also user identity, which is an important element to security, trying to blend in as a normal user as opposed to an admin that's just uh, you know running running around the network and, and pillaging the network. It was a very stealthy and very well planned attack. So, what are the biggest nation state hacking trends you expect to see emerge this year that we perhaps haven't seen yet? Well, I think supply uh, side or supply chain attacks is, is obviously a big one. We, there's a big focus on it right now. Uh, how many more are out there? Um, it, it's just, it's a treasure trove of opportunity for the adversary if they can get into a supply chain. So I think that's really important. Um, data theft obviously is important. You know, we've seen obviously the Chinese have been very big into stealing intellectual property and, and being able to commercialize that. So I, I do think it's a lot of the same. Um, unfortunately, what we're seeing though is a lot of the very sophisticated technology of breaking in the systems that have been leaked over the last, you know, say 18 months or a couple of years uh, have really transcended down into the e-crime actors that maybe didn't have all of the expertise to create this technology, but they certainly know how to weaponize it and deliver it from a ransomware perspective to, to cause massive impact to organizations. Uh, I was talking to a co company over the weekend uh, that wasn't a CrowdStrike customer. They got hit by ransomware and they were in 
uh, the healthcare industry and they were looking for help and you know their systems are just down right and you're talking about life saving uh, you know technologies and companies and it's a massive impact so hopefully we don't see more of that but unfortunately that has been the trend